Hello, hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for being here. We are still continuing with this slew of content today, covering some of the most anticipated questions uh, here on the channel. Ending up, or wrapping out the year with five uh, accessible uh, list-style videos to give you a sense of what I have played, what I am excited about, and what I am disappointed by. You're going to want to be paying attention to all of these videos as they go up across the day because... There's some good information there, and none of the content repeats itself. Uh, so uh, keep keep in tune with what we're doing. If you can't tell, I've been talking for a little while, and words doth deceive me. All that being said, this video is going to be the best prototypes of 2020. Uh, specifically, prototypes. So not most anticipated for next year, even though some of these might be arriving or anything like that. I'm, I'm talking about the best, the best games that I've played this year that came to Kickstarter or that I had a early look at. All that being said, there is another reason for this series of videos today. We are 100 subscribers away from crossing 21,000 before we hit 2021. And just because I am a, uh, a man that believes in abject meaning and numbers, I'd love to do that. So if you appreciate the stuff that we're doing here, if you want to uh, show your support and encouragement for the channel, do two things for me. Take the time to make sure that you're subscribed down below. It is entirely free and you can unsubscribe later on if you decide you don't like the content we're doing. And make sure you share this or any of our videos with a friend, a gaming group, one of your gaming communities. I mean, you really have no idea how impactful taking the time to share and, uh, and encourage others to check out our content can be. Uh, we are still young and scrappy in this industry and I am super grateful for where we are and I'm super excited for what the next year will bring. All that being said, the best prototypes of 2020. And one thing I'd like to hear from you in the comment section down below, because I'll be spending the majority of today just talking to and responding to the comments on all of these videos. Let me know what you think the best games that hit Kickstarter, your most anticipated games are uh, down below. If you had a chance to play any of the prototypes or test out any games on TTS, let me know that as well. To start with, a... Uh, a clear contender for one of the best games that I've played, uh, or the best prototypes that I've played, Townsfolk Tussle by Panic Roll. This game is such a good uh, abstracted monster battle. I mean, set in that old style cartoon, that golden era of like Disney animation, Townsfolk Tussle is going to be a punch a, you know, creature, punch a ruffian in the face until they crash, upgrade gear, rip body parts off of them, and then beat the next one to death with the arm that you're carrying with you from that first experience. This game came out of nowhere for me. It struck a chord, and for me, it is a contender as probably one of the best, if not the best, boss battler uh, that is a non-campaign boss battler that I've played. Uh, really, really charmed by this game, really loved what they've done with it, from the art to the flavor to the, the humor and the style to the variable, variability when it comes to interacting on the board. I cannot wait for this game to arrive and for the next Kickstarter to happen with expansions and upgrades and adaptations and just to give you all an opportunity to play it. And, I mean, I like this game so much, I made sure to get a pile of copies just so that some of the people over in my Patreon would have access to it because they missed that Kickstarter pledge. Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, I, ha I like this game so much I've, I've put my money behind it, uh, which is true for all of these, but, I mean, doubly so for a game like this, for a game from an indie publisher where I ordered multiple copies. Uh, next is going to be probably my most anticipated game of 2020. Um... Came out before Townsfolk Tussle. Townsfolk Tussle is uh, one of the best games that I played for sure, but I still have to say Frostpunk, the way that they've taken these Euro resource management mechanics and applied it to this, this I mean, they did it. They just, they just did it. I don't know what else to say. I didn't expect them to. I didn't expect them to be able to rip and pull this amazing video game IP and place it into a tabletop experience. And by golly, I cannot wait for the physical copy of this to arrive with all of the crazy 3D terrain and miniatures and aesthetic and story and expansions. And, and I mean, it's just going to be a beautiful game. But Frostpunk by Glass Cannon is probably one of the best prototypes I have played this year. Um, really, really, really impressed with the way they've executed on an IP that I was bringing a lot of, uh, of bias and excitement for already. 
Next is going to be Hell by Mythic Games. We did a scenario where we were facing off and exploring the landscape, but I'm really, really excited for this game to finally arrive. My experience with that prototype, along with the uh, experience that I've seen watching the other variable experiences that you can have, from the settlement phase to some of the other exploring mechanics on the board, I think Mythic Games has done something right up my alley with this game. That Viking Norse mythology, the way that the story wraps around itself if you die or if you win and you come back to the same land knowing a little bit th things a little bit differently, having a premonition or a dream or interacting with the gods in a unique way. I loved the way this game ramped and built the pressure of it and it has just remained on my mind as one of those prototypes that... I, I really can't wait to see what they do as they put this game together. Uh, next, a game that is still currently available on Kickstarter, one that I have been unapologetically excited for, ISS Vanguard. And I was skeptical. I was skeptical of that ship logbook. I was skeptical of the mechanics. I was super excited about the aesthetic, the art, the narrative, the story. But when it arrived, and I opened a binder and flipped through it, I was like, what's going on? Why, why is there an entire binder of resources and things for me to manage? And... They just, they just have done such a good job from annihilating an entire species to exploring the land and finding vents and life. And, you know, there's so much, there's so much open world and yet story driven thematic elements in this game. I think they're going to, I think this is going to be the best game that Awaken Realms has ever put out for me. Uh, and I have, Tainted Grail is competing in my top 10. Uh, and I have a lot of other games from them that I really appreciate and really enjoy. ISS Vanguard is, uh, I mean, even the prototype. I've spent more time in that prototype than I have in almost any other prototype with the exclusion of Townsfolk Tussle just because it's fun, just because I want to continue playing it, because I want to show it to people, right? So that has got to be on my list. And then a bit of an interesting one. This one is here for a very good reason, I think. I didn't know what I was going to include. This year has been full of incredible prototypes, incredible Kickstarter games. We are very, we are very uh, purposeful and careful when we choose the games that we bring to the channel here. Um, I love Kickstarter. I love the platform. I am a super backer. I support creators on there. But I also want to make sure that the games we're sharing with you, showing off to the community, are the best of the best. I'm very proud to not, you know, be involved with failed campaigns or games that are going to arrive to you that I don't think you're going to enjoy. I do my very best to let you know what the experience will be like uh, and, and let you know if the game is going to be right for you or wrong for you. So why is this game on the list? Well, with a slew of other games that I had to choose from, there was one game that kept coming to mind as I was going through all of the games we've covered that I not only played multiple times just for fun but I still want to play. And it's also a game that through watching the campaign, I became more and more excited about as they unlocked, unveiled, revealed, and showed the modular nature of Mission Catastrophe by Cardboard Alchemy. This game is just a golden helter-skelter, meteors are hitting your ship, you're doing your very best to position and reposition and strategically get into an escape pod that only fits you and launch while leaving everyone else on the ship. It is a semi-cooperative, family-friendly, light to mid-weight game where you're really, really able to play and manipulate and change the, the modular nature of this ship. I mean, it is, it is nemesis in 45 minutes. It is everything I want out of a semi-cooperative game. It just has enough pressure and push and pull and fear and strategic positioning at the very end. And you can kind of see someone running to the escape pod. Can you stop them? Can you play down cards? Can you use your power? Can you utilize a room? Will a meteor hit that point? Are you able to bring everything together to allow you to get onto a pod and get the heck out of Dodge in time? This is going to be on my list of if you did not back Mission Catastrophe by Cardboard Alchemy, uh, I full-on think that you should go check it out. You should give it a second look, and if the pledge manager is open, you should probably back it. Genuinely, um, it was... It showed up to my doorstep, and I thought to myself, why did Jan accept this one? Because he does a lot of the rulebook reading, and there's some games that he encourages us to get that I just don't know as much about. And uh, it showed up, and I got it to the table... And I thought it wasn't going to be as good as it was. 
it had cute artwork and it's a semi-cooperative game. It's in a genre that isn't always perfect for me. And it really was. It really was a charmer. Uh, and so it is, here on my list, one of the best prototypes of 2020, by far. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this series of list videos. If you are, let me know in the comments down below. Remember to hit that subscribe button so we can be at 21,000 when we cross into 2021. And uh, whatever you do, remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.